Baseball history is made not only by great players, but great teams as well. Some people may not know Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig, but chances are people who don't know baseball know about the New York Yankees. There are teams all over the world with storied pasts that have shaped the way the game is played in the countries they call home. In Japan, they are the Yamayuri Giants. In Korea, the Kia Tigers. Mexico, El Aguila de Veracruz. We could talk about any number of these teams, but instead, on this episode of Global Baseball's Finest, let's head to Europe and visit one of the most successful baseball teams of Great Britain. The game of baseball was quite prominent in the UK around the time it was becoming the national game of the United States in the late 19th century. Matches would draw comparable crowds, if not larger, to contests between the football clubs of the English Premier League at the time. Interest in the game peaked in 1938, when Team GB upset the heavily favored American team at the World Amateur Championships of Baseball, hosted by the British Isles that year. Baseball might have stayed strong in the UK, too if not for the outbreak of World War II in 1939. Around this time, a young, aspiring ball player by the name of Norman Wells, who had been watching pro games and playing a number of amateur ones, went to war to join the Royal Navy until 1945. He returned in 1946, along with the majority of the players who made up the several ball clubs who called Liverpool their home at the time. One night, at the Holton Castle Pub, the post-game hangout for most of the men, Norman issued a challenge to the Liverpool Robins, the top team in Liverpool. Nine innings of knockdown, dragout out Sandlot baseball. The team that took the field against the Robins would be christened the Halton Trojans, after their beer of choice drunk after most games. They got hammered, but the team stayed together, playing in the Liverpool League until 1958. They were formed in 1964 as the Liverpool Trojans, hoping to join the legacy of the great Liverpool teams that reached the national finals including but not limited to the Tigers, Cubs, Yankees, and the aforementioned Robins. They did just that in 1969 and fought hard against the Watford Sun Rockets in a game that sadly ended with a loss in the bottom of the 11th inning. They came back with a vengeance, though, in 1976, beating an All-American team for the national championship 5-4, appropriately and ironically named the Spirit of 76. The Liverpool Tigers had stayed strong throughout the 70s, and as they fell off, the Trojans took over as the powerhouse of Merseyside that would be the threat to win throughout the late 70s and early 80s. And when they did, in 78 and 80. Throughout the 80s, the national governing bodies of baseball began to cause fragmentation among the regions in which clubs existed. And by the 1990s, the British Baseball Federation had split from the British Baseball League and the Scottish National League, for reasons we won't really need to get into here. In the BBL, now comprised of teams entirely from the North, the Trojans continued to dominate throughout the 90s and into the 2000s, led by their ace pitcher, Martin Gotzel, a maestro of endurance who wielded an arsenal of unhittable pitches. He led the team until 2018 at the age of 50, finishing by clinching a complete game shutout over the Nottingham Rebels to end his career in storybook fashion. Nowadays, the Trojans field three squads, one in each division of the BBL. They recently reformed the Halton Trojans during the pandemic, and they play in the single-A division. And of course, they field first and second teams as well in triple-A and double-A respectively. This year, with the BBL back in full swing, both the first and second teams top their respective divisions. And with the first team finishing 11-1 and, and the second 11-5 and five for some impressive victories, the first team is led by veteran first baseman Ian Bleese, shortstop and pitcher Paul Smith, and St. Light catcher Dave Martin Baez. They're raided in the field by hard-hitting Mexican outfielder Victor Juarez Tiran, as well as a pair of South African superstars, Darren Manchus and Richard Lee. The second team is coached by the multi-talented Wrightson brothers Tom and Eddie, managed by the scouts Babe Ruth himself, veteran catcher Scott Gray, they also boast a number of rising talents as well. Outfielder Tom Beasley, second baseman Joe Macon, 
Utility men Liam Hamilton and Tommy Orton, first baseman Sean Moore, and their fireballing ace, Alex Lampe. Baseball is regaining some prominence in the UK with new teams forming right and left, but with a storied history and a new stalwart core of players, the Trojans will be looking to be a name on everyone's lips when the superstar squads of England are talked about. And, I'll confess, as a former Trojan myself, this video is just a little part of an effort to make that happen, and I'm sad that's all I can do for now stateside. BBL games are broadcasted in full on Facebook usually, and if you're looking to follow the Trojans, I'll link their Facebook and YouTube in the description. Welcome back to GBN. Of course, a lot to catch up on since we've been away. Been some personal stuff what needed sorting. CBPL restarted, as did KBO and NPB. And LMB has just wound down. So new episodes of GBF coming your way every other Friday. And the live commentary will definitely be continuing as well. So keep it tuned here on Twitch and on Instagram and Twitter. The links to those will be in the description. For the beginning of our season's second half. Here on the Global Baseball Network.